Okay, so today we're going to talk about how do we count the number of atoms, elements, and molecules in a chemical formula. So this is my chemical formula. I have 2H2O2. So I'm going to represent it by these circles. I've got 2 and 2 and 2 and 2. All right, so when I look at this formula, the first thing I need to do is to figure out the number of elements that I have within that formula. If I count the capital letters, the H and the O are both capital. And because they're both capital, I count those as two separate elements. So I have two elements. Number of molecules. Remember that we talked about this big letter is called a coefficient. And the coefficient tells us the number of molecules of this substance. And because I have a two here, then I have two molecules of that substance. Okay? The subscript tells me how many atoms of each element I have. It only applies to the element that it follows. So this 2 goes with this H, and this 2 goes with this O. So when I look down here at number of atoms, I have hydrogen, I have 2, and oxygen, I have 2. When I add those together, I get a total of 4. This number here, four atoms, would be for one molecule. But I have two molecules of this substance. So I have to take this four, and I have to multiply it by my two for my molecules. And I get a total of eight atoms. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right? Let's look at this one. We have NaCl. We have no coefficients and no subscripts. When you have no coefficients, it is implied that there is one molecule of the whole thing. And if there are no subscripts, it is implied that there is one atom of each of the elements. So again, let's look real quick. How many elements do we have? Again, we're counting the capital letters. N and C are capital letters. The A is lowercase, so it goes with the N. And the L is lowercase, it goes with the C. So we have two elements. How many molecules do we have? Remember, there's no, no number here, so it's an implied that it's one molecule. And how many atoms? We have one and one. One, one. So Na, we have one. Cl, we have one. So we have a total of two. Okay? Okay. Um, I want to go over how to count the number of elements, the number of molecules, and the number of atoms that you can find in a chemical equation, in a chemical formula. This is our chemical formula, CaCO3. It can be represented by these circles that I have here. I have Ca for calcium, C for carbon, and then I have three, uh, three atoms of oxygen because I have O3. Remember that the subscript only applies to the element that it follows. So let's look. Number of elements. The way that you count your elements in a chemical formula is to count the number of capital letters. So we have a capital C, a capital C, and a capital O. Or if I'm looking here, I can look at the number of colors, and I have three. So I have three as my number of elements. Okay, number of molecules. If it's written out, it is implied that there is one molecule of that substance. Because there's not a coefficient here, there's only one molecule. 
So all of these combined make one molecule of CaCO3. So one. How many atoms do we have? Atoms refers to how many atoms of each of the elements. So for Ca, I have one. If there's nothing that follows the element in the formula or the equation, then it refers to being one. C, carbon, we have one. And O, we have three. This subscript tells me I have three oxygen. When I add all of these together, I get a total of five. So I have five atoms within this. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's look at a little more complex problem this time. This is gonna be our chemical formula. We have Al2SO4-3. Remember again, subscripts tell us the number of atoms of each of the elements that they follow. Parentheses means that we have sets of this compound that's combined with this element. So we're gonna look at how are we gonna figure out how many molecules, elements, and atoms do we have in Al2SO4-3. Okay, first thing we need to do is we want to figure out the number of elements. Again, we look at the number of capital letters. I have an A, an S, and an O. So I have three elements. Okay, how many molecules? We have no coefficient, so that means that all of this put together is one molecule of this substance of Al2SO4-3. So I have one molecule. Number of atoms. This is where it becomes a little tricky. Remember that this two here, the subscript two applies to the Al. So for aluminum, I have two atoms, one and two. When I have parentheses and I have a subscript that follows the parentheses, it's kind of like the distributed property in math where I have to take this number and multiply it by each thing that's inside the parentheses. Or you can think of this as being that I have three sets of SO4, which is what I've shown here. I have one SO4, two SO4, and three SO4. So I have three sets of SO4, okay? But again, distributed property in math. So I'm going to multiply the 3 times my 1 after the S in order to figure out the number of sulfurs that I have. So sulfur equals 1 times 3, which equals 3. My oxygens, I have 4, and I have to multiply them by 3 to get a total of 12. So my total atoms is 2 plus 3 plus 12, which equals 12 plus 3 is 15, plus 2 is a total of 17. So if I count the number of circles that I have up here, I should have 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So 17 is what we got. Okay?